Hello guys and welcome back to Power and Revolution 2019 edition with our Chinese playthrough here. In the last episode we kind of, we proceeded, we got permission from the UN to invade uh, Taiwan and Brunei. I don't know if this both happened in the last episode actually. But we've been working on, so oh wow, their leader is hated. Jesus. Anyway, we've been working on this uh, cyber attack to be able to attack Taiwan and Brunei. Taiwan's a lot closer to being ready than Brunei, so maybe we'll be ending up going to war with them this episode. Otherwise, we've just been working on like research, economy, and other things like that for the past couple episodes. After conquering Myanmar, we've been building more troops. Just generally the same thing has been going on. Ma uh, maintaining our budget here, which has been kind of going back and forth a little bit. Trying to stay good so that we can keep expanding our empire. So Canada here, if you've been watching this series, you already kind of know the situation. Uh, they had some conflicts with the US and France and it's been pretty bad for them. They're kicked out of NATO. They're kind of all by themselves. And while it hasn't gone up to full-blown war, surprisingly. And since it hasn't gone up to full-blown war, if we actually um, take a look at the diplomacy screen here, we can see that their current status is some conflict with France, France, Polynesia, etc. Enough to maybe convince them to increase their military. But other than that, you know, their country's doing pretty all right. Their national deficit is teeny tiny. They've been having some forest fires lately. Since they're safely out of the NATO sphere, I think it's time to befriend Canada. You know, we're allies with Mexico, Cuba, you know, uh, Venezuela, Brazil, Bolivia. We're, we're surrounding the U.S., which is what the U.S. in real life does to Russia and China. We're surrounding them, and if we want to surround them further, we need Canada so we can get military bases in here and literally pull a U.S. on the U.S. Here's one of their earlier wildfires. I know this is going to cost me more money than the other countries, so I'm just going to send 50 million. Right at the start, we're going to actually work on trying to get Canada over to our side. If I do pull it off, I will update you and let you know how much money it costs when we get into the diplomacy screen. Apparently, I am one of the great figures of anti-racism. A modern day Martin Luther King. That's me. That's me, leader of China. I'm a modern day Martin Luther King. There is so much wrong with that statement. But, oh boy, and uh, I seem to have accidentally gotten rid of the notification here. Let me uh, see if I can get it for you. Japan discovers hollow vision. They patented a new technology, which I'm not 100% sure what it does, but they, they've beaten everybody to it, I guess? Hollow vision. Oh no, they published it. They didn't patent it. They published it. This is probably something that I feel like this is something I already had, given that it's from before 2019. But they have published now the optic computer, which will boost everyone's computer hardware industry. And now they have published the hollow vision, which will... It doesn't look like it'll boost anyone's anything. It's probably an in-between for some other researchers, if I had to take a guess. So our mission to Mars 2 is gone through another round now it's a space probe with exploration robot it's needed to you gotta do this three times in order to build a base on mars the only person that wants to join right now is pretty interesting actually it's portugal who is someone in nato but i, I don't mind bringing them on board if they're going to contribute something because the the boost they get is only really relevant to the amount of money that they contribute so I'll take them on board i, I do wonder you know with nato kind of imploding on itself you know portugal already likes me I'm curious how easily I can maybe flip NATO in on its head, maybe get certain members to kind of like, I don't know, get kicked out or fucked up. Building a base in Portugal, if we became friends with them, would be pretty interesting. Eventually, and I know someone suggested this in the comments today, I should take something in like Europe. And maybe if I do, you know, I'd probably want to do it if I did in order to be able to apply to the CSTO. However, if I did it, it would have to be something easy and small to take because projecting my power over here would just be a challenge. So we have our meeting with the leader of Canada here. It took me about 200 million, so not as bad as it could have been, not nearly sure. as bad. Give him there his little uh, compliments. And let's propose a military alliance. Let's go right to alliance. There we go. We got an alliance with Canada. So fucking weird. 
considering just the situation, I guess. Here, let's go Maritime for Maritime. We just flipped his country from red to liking us, so he may not be on board for all kinds of things just yet. Let's let's see, air for air maybe. Okay, we're almost there. Land for land? Not quite yet. All right, so we're gonna end that meeting there. Great progress. Japan went from, or sorry, Canada went from slightly disliking us to loving us because I threw 200 million at them. They are out of NATO. They're in a conflict with uh, France and the USA is just not their friend. We have now two, like a bunch more basically places. I was going to say two. I forgot about the rest of these. But ba these two, the two only nations that border the United States via a land border, we now have alliances with. That's big. That means if we did declare war, not only could we base out of these countries, but that means we could also potentially drag these countries into the war. Not saying that they would do a good job or anything, but they don't have to. They just have to help grind away at the American troops, give the American troops a target that isn't me, while I go for my goal, shock and awe, try to reach Washington. I imagine from like Canada or something, you know, just head down to Washington and hopefully get a decisive war. I don't know why I'm here like thinking about this though. I'm just expanding regionally right now. So since I've already gotten permission to attack Brunei, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably, well, let me do this first. I'm gonna go ahead and get them denounced if I can, just to kind of, you know, top off insult on top of insult here. And we're having a disaster, a drought. That's no good. Hopefully that's not too deadly. I'm not sure that there's anything you can do to prevent a drought. No, there's, there's no prevention for droughts unless like flood. Oh no, there is right here. Drought heat wave. Yeah, there, there's low, not a lot you can do, but this, but this, this would probably help. Um, well, hopefully this isn't too bad because my spending isn't too oh. high. I'd need to raise taxes if I wanted to raise this anymore. Ah, uh, the food statistics are apparently freaking out again. I do find it interesting that the drought says it's affecting Beijing, but it's located in Hubei. Hubei. So, uh, yeah, if it's actually affecting Beijing, it's kind of off there. So the drought appears to be over. The final cost is seven and a half billion, and Beijing is the most affected region. Yeah. Well, again, I don't know how it was in Beijing when the image for it is all the way down here. Ugh, I really, I really don't understand. And the leader of Azerbaijan would like to meet with me. I mean, sure. All right. Yeah, I could do that. We had an excellent prevention policy, apparently. So despite not having max funding, apparently the damage was minimal. And we got a huge popularity boost maintaining our constant 100% and no new partner for the space program. So that means we're going to have to come in here, select this, and we're going to have to fund the rest ourselves. Hey, we got 10% of the funding from other countries this time. So let's go ahead and raise this to 90, which might not be enough. Oh no, it is enough this time. Rounding. Cool. And that looks like the, the launch date looks actually fine. Any earlier we can make this? Ah, uh, not exactly. Yeah, so 10, let's do 10-5, 2026. Damn. 10-5, 2026 to get this launched. Not even like finished, just to get it launched. I will approve the program, which will get it underway. And so we can't even look at really building a Mars uh, base until much later at this rate. Compensation to farmers. Okay, so I guess seven... Okay, um, no, I'm not going to do it through this screen. I hate this screen. <laughs> it's confusing. I'm going to do it through the screen that I understand right here. It wasn't even seven and a half. It wasn't even seven and a half. You liar. Uh, 9.6 billion should be all of it. Yep, that's all of it. Mission to Mars, prepare for liftoff. Very good. And how's our economy doing? Our economy's doing fine. Our growth has been going up, down, up, down, up, down. Inflation staying surprisingly low and... Unemployment staying stagnant overall, really. I don't know. It's just, it's stable. It's surprisingly stable. For the rest of the playthrough, it just, it hasn't been stable at all. So this is, 
This is kind of nice. Okay, well, we just got some good information on Afghanistan. So, I know I've gotten information on like this on certain countries before. Just a suspicion of production of nuclear missiles. Like Bangladesh. I tried to denounce Bangladesh, and it didn't really go anywhere. Proof is usually what you need. And while, you know, here it, it was just suspicions for Taiwan that they like tested nuclear weapons for example but it actually worked you know and I tried to denounce Bangladesh I didn't try to get intervention you know let me actually let me try this let me try to provide proof that Bangladesh is a threat and then evidence sufficient for factions let me ask for intervention maybe denouncing won't go through but intervention will and then for the UN for Afghanistan we'll provide proof Sufficient for sanctions. Let's try sanctions first. And if that doesn't work, or if it does, I'll try to move on from that next with the same amount of proof. We also have our meeting here with the leader of Azerbaijan, an economic contract, of course. He'd like to sell me beef, for which I'm already buying some of. As my population goes up, of course, the need for beef goes up. His sales price isn't too great to begin with, but... Let's see if he's willing to negotiate by putting it at his sales price. That's how you can tell they're willing to negotiate. And send that all. Um. Okay. So, <laughs> he was willing to literally just sell it to me at his sales price. Which okay. is lower than our purchase price by a decent enough margin. That we are going to get a better deal now because of that. Uh, getting permission to just set up some bases. Why? Because he'll give them to me. So I could set up a base in Azerbaijan if I wanted. Which is actually a pretty cool thing. Because uh, where it's over here. It's over here. Blah. Um, Brunei, yes. I vote pro this. I don't have any influence over here whatsoever. I could actually like set up a, a military base over here. And then use it to like attack Armenia. Or attack... Uh, Ah, oh, damn. You know, with the war that happened recently, I was curious if NK was like its own province. It's not. But I could use a base in Azerbaijan, for example, to stage an invasion of Georgia out of. I mean, you know how easy it would be to take Georgia? Their fucking capital's right next to the fucking border of Azerbaijan. I should really do that, honestly. And then, you know, or, I mean, just someone that dislikes me over here, generally, Georgia. They do have their own little terrorists that they have problems with. I know that. They have some fighters. Uh, they have sympathizers. Do they have, like, military? Is there, like, a military? Oh, there is. Look at that. They have their own little province that they captured. Wow. I don't know how that would work, but I think that, would, that may actually be a pretty decent I idea. I would just need to maybe find some justification to do it. So I don't really need to set up in Azerbaijan in advance. It, I can get a base set up relatively quickly should I want to. I mean, it's not like I can't afford to, but taking over Georgia would maybe, it would probably put me close enough, given the region, that I could actually apply to join the CSTO, which is something I really want to do so I can become allies with this entire like block over here. Oh, hey, Russia likes me more right now for whatever reason. I don't know why. So I'm going to free up some agents here. We've already prepared the cyber attack in Indonesia, so I'm going to knock them down to 10 agents. And I'm going to take some agents out of somewhere else. I'm not sure where. Let's knock five of them out of... Yeah, let's knock five of them out of South Korea for now. And let's knock five of them out of Japan for now. And now we have 20 agents available. And we're going to go ahead down here... And we are going to set up a network of agents with 20 for political spying. Just to see if we can find any... I mean, it's Georgia. Oh, I'm sorry. They have a second terrorist group legal organization here, which actually owns, like, a region in the country. That's... Wow. That would be such a complicated situation to try to jump into, but... Either way, I, I do kind of want to set up for that invasion, because this is the perfect chance... To, you know, if just having some territory over here counts, getting myself into the CSTO and solidifying my alliances with some of these countries. Of course, I will need to go ahead and set up a base. Usually, 
what I set up is an air base. We don't need an air base here. Air bases are more expensive than a, a land base. Uh, oh, this is the this is the expense to build. So it tends to be similar. Actually, no, this is still more expensive. Yeah, the more down you go, the more expensive it gets. Let's go to Azerbaijan and just set up a land base. Literally, like hugging the border, I guess, because that's that's where we would need it. And yeah, let's just put it right there. Literally hugging the border. They can't say that we're nest. Well, they can say that we're putting troops on their border, but I mean, what are they going to do? I'm all the way across the world. They could attack this, but shrug. It'll take me. I, I forget how long that said it was going to take, actually. 270 days. What is that, like nine months or something? Not so bad. We'll get a military uh, base set up here. If we find any dirt on Georgia, eventually, I'll put it through the UN. We get permission to attack them, change to a cyber attack. It'll be so easy to march through a cyber attack Georgia to the capital. So easy. What? What the fuck? Sad face, you... Uh, what the hell just happened? I don't know what to say to that. Um, we have security council members. Why didn't that work? Does the UN just not work anymore? Well, I, I proposed several things, so I guess we'll see. Maybe that was just like a one-off glitch, but okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> if the UN borks and that simplifies my uh, gameplay to not having to worry about permission, one way or another, I do plan on taking Georgia, or at least, you know, the, the not occupied parts of it, and then trying to see if I can join the CSTO via that. It would be really separated from the rest of China, but um, it would maybe get us into the CSTO. As a little side note, I do want to keep expanding my military here, and I have a couple options to go for next, and while I do already have an amazingly large uh, missile launcher, like um, an amount of these, I do want the best ones. You know, I have rank 4 available, most countries don't even have these. I'm gonna go ahead and kinda get, yeah look, to make them, just China and Russia, that's literally it. I'm gonna get making these. Our national production starts out pretty nice, pretty high. Um, how long does each batch take? This 20 would take to next year, 50 would take to next, oh we're at the end of the year, that's why. 100 would take to the end of next year. Um, I think I'll just start out ordering 20 just to get the number of these up to 200. I do plan on making a fuck ton of these and then replacing basically all the tier 3 ones just so we have the best of the best at any one time. Basically, you know, be the US. Constantly modernize. Keep our industry going. Keep our military tip-top shape. Uh, Ripperoni, the leader of Afghanistan, just got deposed probably because of, you know, financing nukes. I do wonder what kind of effect this will have on us taking them to the um, the UN, though, because that was like the basis of our evidence was that the previous leader had done that. Oh, I guess, well, maybe that's old news because it counts for this person. Usually it doesn't carry over, uh, but this is just this, right? The financing stuff is gone. So I guess this carried over to her. I don't know, man. That's kind of weird. And also, the United States discovered uh, brain cells reproduction, which I guess isn't something that we had. No, this is something that, like, nobody had, or at least I don't have. Before 2019. Huh. So maybe it was discovered before. I'm not sure. But me and them lacked it, so I doubt it. I got that weird um, Syrian breth brethren journalist kidnapping event again, but I can't find it in my uh, events. And I, I guess it's just some bugged out event that's just going to keep repeating but not doing anything. In addition to that, looks like our I cyber attack possibility team. against Taiwan is ready. So we can look at doing an invasion now. All right. And we're voting on Brunei. Treatment against memory disease. Ooh. Nice. Nice. What is a... What does this do? Treatment against memory disease. Can I find it? Can I find it? It'll be down here, maybe? Brain cells reproduction. Wait, what? Oh, okay, so that's something I had, too, or something I just got. Or is this... No, this is literally what I just got. Brain cells reproduction. This is what the U.S. discovered, and now I've discovered it. It's Alzheimer vaccine. It's just a vaccine for Alzheimer's. Why does that not sound real? Either way, um, this contributes to the pharmaceutical industry, so yeah, it's, it's nothing special. But this is what we're looking at. 
Um, this city is uh, 200 miles away. We can get ready. We can get these soldiers ready. I don't know how many soldiers I would need. Where? Oh god, I just... Oh god, what's happening? Okay. Bugs! Bugs. This game is very buggy. This playthrough will eventually die to bugs, I'm sure of it. So we do want to get these troops kind of, like, ready. I'm gonna, I guess, send, like, 50,000 of them. And when I get them there, I guess is when I can split them up. We want to get them on the water, at the very least. Maybe... Maybe not directly on the border just yet to avoid pissing them off. But we're gonna take Taiwan, boys. Taiwan's going down. We have permission to invade. We're doing this shit. Let's go. Um, how do I do this again? Uh, launch military cyber attack, Taiwan. Let's hit play to that. We got our troops already moving. I will probably, I'll end up splitting them up in the water here. Yeah, so let's see here. So like, uh, let's do 10,000 in a stack. So let's move this over here. Look at all these little ships on the way. Container, ocean liner, ore carrier, ocean. Oh my God. Where are these all going? Oh, well, the UN isn't broken. We just got total economic embargo to go through on um, Brunei. So that's cool. I guess just Bangladesh is broken. I don't know. I'll have to test it later. And if it is broken, then I mean, I guess... Not much I can do. Damn, these fucking hurricanes are stuck on my screen anytime I click. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Bugs, leave me alone. I didn't do anything to you. Alright, so let's take another 10,000 and send them over here. Eh, damn it. Another 10,000. Send them over here. And the final 10,000, well, it's not the final 10,000, send it over there. So, we're splitting them up just to get them in different directions and hopefully not too close to each other. Not that that really matters. Taiwan is going to notice this building up, but not much there they can really do about it. You know, they have some nice infrastructure. Well, they have a single high speed rail line going up and down the coast. For a place so tiny, I'm surprised it's not actually better than this. I don't know, but soon this military cyber attack will go through and the distance between where we are right now to them is roughly only about, what, a hundred miles, roughly? We do have to load our troops onto the shore, but we should have more than enough time to essentially shock and awe them out of existence. They don't have nearly as much troops protecting the capital as um, Myanmar did. This should be easier than Myanmar. Oh, and now what's this? Journalist kidnapped by in Belarus by Belarusian Communist Forces terrorist group. If you're communist, why would you, why would you hate me like that? I, I, I don't, I don't know if this is actually like a thing that's gonna result in anything, but I don't, I don't know. None of the kidnappings have done anything for me so far in the game. I'm so so curious why the UN broke for Bangladesh. Like, should I just try it again? Should I just try it again right now, just to see? Maybe it's just a one-off, or maybe it's just Bangladesh. Let's let's figure it out. So Bangladesh, all right. I accuse sufficient for sanctions. Authorize intervention, and and we'll see how that goes. I guess. I mean, hopefully it's just not bugged for Bangladesh. If it is, then I guess I could just invade them whenever I want and not have to worry about justification. Whether it is or isn't, uh, based on how this UN thing goes, I will change this to cyber attack. Oh oh, is it time? Yep, the cyber attack has gone through, and they noticed our warships. These aren't warships, first off. These are transport ships, but I see you're already moving troops to, like, intercept. That being said, uh, you're cyber attacked, bitch. So, we're gonna go... Going to yep, we're gonna send all five of these stacks to the capital, Taipei. No tanks, because, I mean, if they're going to be, if I'm so sure they're going to be cyber attacked, tanks aren't necessary anyway. Because we, we just have to get our in there. Alright, we it's got our system. cell in Georgia. That's nice. Uh, anything special in this paper, or can I proceed to invading? Ah, uh, nothing necessarily special. Just some terrorist groups and such. Alright, cool. So we unpause the game, and we're going to war with Taiwan. Oh, whoa. Okay, so we have to land over here. I did not calculate that into my plans. That's another, like, 100 miles. Well, yeah, that's 100 miles from there to there. That's another 75 miles for the closest stack. 
to oh wait no no they're repathing now they're they're suddenly repathing um okay <laughs> i don't know how who or why that is happening okay but they're going 1.8 billion cash surplus you see this is so broken i'm not making that much money what are you going on about we have more than that in the reserve and my budget excess is not nearly that large i don't get it we have to see this foreign fleet as T wait taiwanese fleet close to the burma state coast burma state coast you got that right this here burma state coast burma state is over here it's not even close to taiwan what the hell this is like that disaster that was placed in hubei but it said it was for beijing oh man we're starting to see the bugs add up you know that we're starting to see the bugs add up here all right well we are landing our troops despite some weird pathfinding bugs i guess Da, 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 da. To this fleet, I suggest that you send out a and now it's the Badakistan the coast. coast. No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. Except it might be this. It might be these tanks. Um, if I feel like this is taking too long, then I'll deal with them myself. But while they're at sea, they're really not a threat anyway. And I have air bases literally right next to this place. I'm not concerned. Here goes our initial waves of troops going into Taipei. The war begins. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. Okay, we're, we're in the city. The Battle of Taipei has started. Let's just go at normal speed, I guess. Decent amount of troops so far. I'm, I'm hoping we, we get more troops in here. Oh, it looks like we were just getting more troops in just there. Yep, we were. Let's send these guys down here as well. I don't know how many guys they're going to have in the, the head of state residence. Hopefully not an excessive amount. Well, I'm going to send this first wave in regardless, and we're going to see how this goes. And a newspaper again already. Oh, this uh, this journalist kidnap actually appeared. So maybe that one actually happened. None of this is special. Just some space programs completing and generic stuff. Hopefully this goes well. How many? How many? Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, we got some damage in on them. We, we got some kills. I, I, I'm trying to deselect you, please. We got some kills, but it's not going perfectly. We've killed about half the guys in here. This first wave is going to die at this rate, though. Their troops aren't as good as ours, and you can actually feel it. We're killing more of them than they're killing of us, and we're the ones that had to run through the fucking door. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. This second wave should theoretically be more than enough. Let's send them in, and... Yes, yes, there we go. We got all of them. We're now capturing the head of state bunker, man. Damn, that was that was quick. Uh, let's keep these guys. Uh, uh, let's okay. Let's let's put these guys in here. Um, not everybody needs to actually be working on this. Literally, only like one dude. But theoretically, it should be fine because we ha we should have more than enough time here. This country's armed forces are counterattacking violently. What do you mean counterattacking? They're not doing anything. Are they? No, they're not. They're literally not doing anything. They can't even move. Calm down, boy. Oh, look, an Australian cargo plane. Well, I guess now all we're really waiting on is capturing the bunker. I don't think their cyber attack will end before we manage to capture the bunker. So, we should just theoretically have to sit here and wait. Afghanistan information, yeah, some more terrorist stuff. Nothing the UN would ever care about. But yeah, so we started this war, like, later in this episode. Kind of like the last war. And we are going to finish it, I believe, in the same episode. Yeah, man, look at this. Look at our progress. It's going pretty well. Let's, uh, see about speeding it up a little. Nothing else really crazy happened. Taiwan declares war. Now, what does that mean? Did they, did the cyber attack wear off? Breach we treaties with Taiwan. Taken. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've just taken the country's capital. We're kicked out. Yeah, it doesn't look like they really got to do anything except the fighting in there. They're refugees. That's a lot of refugees. Holy shit. Taipei was very populated. Take a look at that. Shock and awe, baby. Shock and awe. We'll end this episode, I guess, with seeing... Taiwan become part of China. Taiwan, how are you calling on the UN to issue an ultimatum? I just took your capital. The war is over. What was that? The war is over. Oh, Maldives? No, we don't. We don't need any of that. 
gonna get rid of all these notifications and we're we'll just stay at this speed okay here we go man end of mandate my my mandate's coming to an end the brotherhood party's conflict should quickly decide on the party's candidate for the next head of state elections wait we have elections all right i mean i should win either way i have 100 percent popularity uh, yeah, no, that's not going anywhere. They, they've literally surrendered. They've gone light blue, and all their shit is now mine. There we go. Taiwanese armed forces have surrendered, and we shot their leader at dawn. So let's go to the peace treaty. We're going to integrate the country. We've signed the agreement. Death toll was 828 total casualties, only 8.6 million lost. Our figures are looking good. Our For, yep, our growth is staying the same. We've passed through another quarter, I guess. The beginning of October was passing into another quarter. Not much changing on that front. The enemy has surrendered. And finally, if we skip forward another day, maybe. Wow, that just got bugged. Uh, then, okay, UN. Oh, this is, the, this is the thing against us. Okay, so vote against it. But hey, here we go. Taiwan is now part of China. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What did we just get? Look at all this. All their stuff is tech 2. It's kind of outdated. I'll probably just delete most of it, quite frankly. I'll probably delete a lot of these bases. They have way too many bases in such a tiny area. It doesn't need to be as over-militarized anymore, because this is not an island nation anymore. This is part of China. Hello, boys. China has reunited. Maybe I should uh, replace the flag or something. Well, it's already called China, but we did it, boys. China's reunited. 10 out of 10. Thank you guys very much for watching. Ha! <laughs> We're the only one to vote against it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.